Anger as appeal court sacks three governors in opposition parties within four days. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Criticism have shown the sacking of Governor Caleb Mutwang of Plateau State by Court of Appeal, triggering reactions that the ruling All Progressive Congress was at work to run a one party system in Nigeria. And I think it is now seeming so because. What the hell are you going to call removing how many governors? First, it was um, in Kano. These people, <laughs> these people really, really put her inside, put her eye hand inside our eyes. So. They are telling us there is nothing we can do. They have the news in detail. The sacking of Mot Fuang was the third experience of the position in four days. Last week, Ambassador Ilya Demago, acting national chairman of the People's Democratic Party (PDP), raised the alarm that there was a plot to overturn the will of the people, as was pressed during the general elections. Addressing the press conference at the party headquarters, Demago alleged that there was a design by the APC to cripple democracy, overthrow the democratic right of Nigeria, suppress the rule of law, and downgrade our nation to a fifth dom run by the whims of a cabal. Mutfuang of the PDP had 525,299 votes while his APC challenger Netwa Nentawe Goshwe polled 481,370 votes in the governorship election in March. Goshwe challenged the victory at the tribunal saying that Mutfuang did not comply with the Electoral Act as he did not validly nominate, as he was not validly nominated and sponsored by his party. The panel dismissed the petition for lacking merit, but Goshwe headed to the appeal court in its judgment on Sunday. The appeal court headed by Justice Efreda Williams, the would sacked Mofwang for not being validly sponsored by the PDP for election. On Thursday, the appeal court sacked Governor Dauda Lawal of Zafra State of PDP, declaring that the governorship election in March was inconclusive. The following day, the same court nullified the election of Kano State Governor Abba Kabar Yusuf of the new Nigeria People's Party. These recent court rulings leading to the sacking of opposition governors have gotten Nigerians talking as the pointer to the All Progressive Congress as the mastermind. Here are some of the reactions on Twitter. APC can take over all the 30 states if they want. Another opinion, it is natural to question court rulings. I wonder why all our court really seems to favor the APC, the ruling party, against the position. This trend could potentially harm the country's political process. Another opinion, APC at Woko, the one that turned Nigeria into a one-party system. Another commented. APC has turned Nigeria into something different. Another opinion, APC own court, Sachs Plateau governor. Another commented, they are gradually sinking this country. Another opinion, no justice in the courtroom system anymore. Our judges have replaced substan substantial justice with technicalities. Court now sits on Sundays, I tire of Another commented, miscarriage of justice, there is no law left in Nigeria anymore. Another opinion, APC actually came to finish Nigeria. Another commented, APC should actually take it easy, it is becoming annoying at this point. Then we still remove governors for different states, put APC. Mad money they fly for Nigerian judges account this period, but Nigerians no go wake up. Another opinion, APC is just clearing everywhere with the help of our judiciary. Any small thing go to court because they already have the judiciary on their payroll. Another opinion, it is now glaring that Nigeria is an APC capture state. Another commented, they have decided to snatch plateau and allocate it to themselves. APC department in charge of political allocation and distribution. Another commented, America won that. Nigeria is fast becoming a one-party country. The thing is, the one that got to meet an appeal court ruling on a Sunday. <clears throat> anyway, you see the democracy where PDP don't manage for 16 years, APC enter manage and for 8 years. Now, these APC people now go, now go chase democracy to come up for Nigeria. Now, these people, there's nothing you can tell me. You see these people, they are the ones that will bring back military rule upon us. 
I don't know what is. You see, when people are saying, eh, he is the father of democracy, eh, you they see where would they carry, if they carry and are they go? <laughs> are you saying, are they being, it is for different reasons? Because when they actually brought this reason up in court, both in the PEPT and the Supreme Court, they say it is technicality. They say court does not have anything to do with things like that. Say no consign court. So how we can't use consign court? Say somebody was actually in the, the time that they are supposed to submit their name, list of nomination. Say the time don't pass. I, I, I don't understand when courts don't INIC. You understand? These people are not understanding. Back to what I was saying before. When this man was coming in, he is the father of democracy. Where was they? Where was uh, Atiku? Where was Obi and Kwanko? So when he was fighting for democracy, the democracy that he uh, is actually, he is burying it. He started from Lagos State. The people do not even understand. The man has money. He's not coming into it. He's not doing this one. Eh, what is now happening? Why everywhere tight? Why everywhere tight like this? They are sharing the funds among themselves. He actually spends billions to come in and he's actually getting his money back. And as he's getting his money back, to close people from even coming to attack him, he's tightening everywhere up for his own favor in his own favor like i said he fought democracy now he's now the weapon fashion in the west when somebody was spraying somebody is fighting against the weapon fashion against that person the person now is now the weapon that he or she fought <laughs> oh good the person is now the weapon against democracy there is this thing i tell them that there's no two ways about it two things are involved nigerians will stand up even as they don't put their shoe on top of our neck, they press them. Say they want kill us, they want choke us, they want snuff, they want sniff life. Eh? They want choke life come off our body. We are going to rise up and fight back. They want way past revolution go happen. You understand? Uh -huh. Everywhere go red. One. Number two, military people then will come. This one is not a matter of uh, 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 what's it called? Don't say it. Now we ask me that be prophecy for prayer, but prophet is so this thing is going to happen. APC, it is either they drag the military people. If those people see us, uh -huh, that's where everywhere won't be. No, it's a no good. And those ones too, <laughs> you know, not say they get their own disadvantages. <laughs> it is until Nigerians stand up, people need to pay for this. These people. Even for only the one they don't do, I feel they need to pay. Make everybody lie. I mean, they collect. See, yeah, they can't do one, another one. Share not like this, you go today. Share not like this, you go sit down, they look. You know, good how our children, children, even the one where they come, the third generation, are looking up to us to fight for them. Nigerians, now so in a good day. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news to say thank you for telling you to listen until i call me next time enjoy the rest of your day